It's right about that time of the year when we experience high rate of flooding on our streets, in our home, in our place of business, in our farmland, and other important places here in Lagos, another part of Nigeria. <laughs> Flooding is a natural disaster that happens in every part of the world, regardless of how planned or how developed that particular community, country or continent is. Nigeria is not exempted. This is one of the communities in Lagos known as Agopala Sway or Kota here in Lagos, Nigeria. And this particular community has been experiencing high rate of flooding year in and year out. Flooding is something every human being, regardless of your status, want to fight against. But sometimes you need to ask yourself, is this thing truly fight against? This is how the major road coming from Apple Junction down to Ago Palace Way is flooded. There is only two good reasons why I'm putting this video on my channel. One, to speak to you Nigerians and hopefully this video get to the right authority. Flooding in Lagos is not just about Ago, but in different parts of Lagos we have people experiencing this natural disaster. So small rainfall in Lekki looks like this. Just small amount of rainfall in Lekki on the island in Lagos looks like this. The same amount of rainfall falls on the mainland and everywhere is pretty dry. I mean, are the gods angry with the people in Lekki or the roads in Lekki? What's going on? What people make when I see my kitchen? I don't face you and dining now. No, I see the gold street. Now they see everywhere. See fish. Now they see everywhere. See. Yeah, I don't already put water for fire. I won't drink to you. Now they see my kitchen. Now they see everywhere. Eh? Now they see water. See my yam. See my yam. Now see. See. I thank God my rice is there inside container. See everywhere. Wora. Wora. This is place is not nice at all. Our landlord, our tenants, our students, if they have no place to go, this is absolute nonsense. Our government needs to come to our aid. We have no place. This place has become a... Everybody now is in big mess. Refugee, go to the landlord and everybody now in big mess. This is from last week, Lagos, I mean, Lagos State University students. And there is no place. I have a lot of colleagues around here. Our landlord... We are not safe. We are not safe. We are not safe. This is... See this mama and her house. Oh, I wish I get money for just help and do one or two. Anytime we rain, just fall like this. That's how her house go full. Lagos rain, go humble somebody like this. Oh, Shan, husband. <laughs> When you fail to dispose your waste properly, you are putting a life in danger. It can be your life. It can be my life. It can be that person that you know. You just know that when you fail to do the right thing, somebody somewhere suffers for your action. To the contractors who are not faithful to the project they've collected, I hope you have conscience because mother not just pointing a gun or a knife to somebody, you are killing somebody when you fail to execute that contract you've been paid for. To the government, anybody in the place of power right now was once first an ordinary Nigerian before any office he or she occupy right now. And I want you to know that this is our ancestral home. This is the only place in the whole wide world where you call your home. It's not an office. It's our responsibility as Nigerians to ensure our community, our fatherland is preserved. Environmental sanitation is a responsibility that I, you, owe to this land. Do the right thing. Government, Nigerians. Thank you. 